you don't need a shift to a totalitarian government. Big Brother doesn't have to show up looking as uh, the caricature of, of George Orwell at all. He's here now. That concerns me tremendously. Who, who the hell is this guy? The internet has penetrated every aspect of our society. And our society has penetrated every aspect of the internet. He's an irritant. He's profoundly an irritant. I don't like megalomaniacal people who are self-satisfied and sanctimonious. And that's what he is. I think he's doing something very important. And frankly, anyone who thinks that this whole business is about uh, alleged low-level sex offences in Sweden just doesn't understand what's going on. If you create a society in which the surveillance capability is so comprehensive that once the public starts to mobilize in response to concerns it has about how that power is being used, that that response is immediately detected and preempted or obstructed by authorities, you end up in a potentially very dangerous, undemocratic uh, situation. We are in the Big Brother age, but we are now being told that they are powerful devices of surveillance, Big Brother devices, that make us ultimately safer as societies. That is diametrically opposed to what we used to have in 1984. How have we gotten there? We are definitely at a crucial moment. This is the moment where we can all stand up as citizens in any countries and say what we want in terms of informational self-determination. And if we don't, we're going to find ourselves in the same boat as climate change. And we'll, it'll be very difficult to claw back those kinds of rights. Governments are overstepping their boundaries. We're finding out new things every day. And something has to be done to put a check on these powers. Or else we're going to end up all looking like East Germany and the Stasi times 10. Thank you.